Hello, my name is Scott Fisk, and in this Dreamweaver Creative Cloud tutorial, we're going to talk about basic web page, uh, basic responsive web page design. So let's get started. Uh, under About Dreamweaver, this is version 2014.1.1. File New. Um, it defaults to blank page. I'm clicking on Fluid Grid Layout. We have mobile, tablet, desktop options. Uh, these are widths for the main page workspace area. Uh, it's going to have a little bit of, you know, it's just adding margins on each side. These are the visual column uh, width inside, inside here. And then we're on HTML5. So hit create. Put a name for the CSS. You can put in anything you want, really. Hit save. And we're getting started. So here in the lower left, these buttons control our different preview modes. We have a desktop size, a tablet size, and a mobile size. We're going to start with the desktop size. Dreamweaver by default has inserted two boxes for us. A box basically is a div. Divs are basically grids that control our page layout. So we have a main grid container. And then within that right here, we have a smaller box to get started, what I want you all to do is just erase that internal box, which is easy. You just click inside the box and you can click on that little uh, trash can. And now that is gone. We actually still do have a main grid container here. It's just not showing up. To get that to show up, you click right there in between the div class tag and the close div tag. And I can just type in some characters and it comes back. So let's get started. I'm going to click here inside that box and we are going to insert a header area. So I'm going to click on div and I could just type in header here or I could go down to where it says header and just insert a header this way. They're both pretty much the same thing. I'm going to hit OK. Now we have a header. Here's the hard part that always throws people off. To insert the next box, uh, which would be to control our navigation, we really need to get the mouse cursor behind this particular box. Uh, and I could go down here, and, and this, is, this is a good thing for you to get used to, just so you can see what's happening in the code. And I'm going to make sure that I'm behind that box that I just inserted, which is called Fluid Header. So I'm clicking right behind it. And now I'm going to insert Navigation. And I'm going to just call this Nav Box. And I am on insert as fluid element. Uh, that's very important. Uh, that just ensures that this box uh, is basically responsive. It's, you know, it's fluid using uh, tags that deal with percentages instead of specific pixels. Hitting OK. Now what we're going to do is I'm just going to get rid of some of that text. Backspace over it here. I just double clicked on it, backspacing over the text. And I'm going to back out of that just by clicking a couple times. And again, here's the tricky part. You have to make sure that you're actually inside the, the box when you're inserting the next box. So I'm going to make some small columns that just control our buttons. So that is our, that is our nav box. And notice it says fluid nav box. And this means space. So I'm just going to hit space there. And now I'm in the right spot in that nav spot. I'm going to say unordered list. I'm just going to say uh, nav list. Okay. And within that space, right here in the code view, I'm doing this just because I want to make sure I'm in, I'm in the right spot. I'm just going to hit delete. I'm in that. Uh, I'm right behind fluid nav list and I'm in front of the UL. And at this point, I'm going to say list item, and this would be basically our nav column. And if all your navigation uh, columns are the same, which is the norm most of the time, I could use this over and over again for all of my nav buttons. So uh, let's go in here and label this button, because that's what it is. It's a button. And if I wanted to alter that, I can click on it once, and I can change the width of that column. And then 
at this point, I can duplicate it two or three different times. There's one, and I'm going to duplicate it again, two. And we want these to all be in a column. You know, most navigation at the top of a web page is, is you know, listed horizontally across the page in columns. So I'm just going to say move up a row. And my buttons are a little too wide. They're not all going up. Now they're all, they've all moved up to the top. And at this point, I'm going to insert another box below it that's just going to be our main body area, you know, our work area where you can place images, text, and so on. So I'm going to insert another div, and I'm going to do it a slightly different way. Instead of going down to the bottom, I just have, well, I am, I'm actually going to go down to the bottom just to make sure I'm doing this right, putting it in the right spot. So there's the end of our nav. Notice it says close nav. And you can do this. You can actually hit enter uh, between these, these classes, these, these divs, to give yourself some space to work. And it doesn't change anything up at the top. So right below nav, I'm just going to insert another div. And this time, I'm just going to call it body area. Or it could be like image area, if you're going to insert a big picture there. Hit OK. And last but not least, the very last thing we're going to enter behind that would be our footer. Of course, we're going to call that footer and hit OK. And basically, our, our grid system is complete at this point. Uh, it just doesn't look like much. So to make it a little more presentable and understandable, we're going to go to the CSS Designer over here, CSS Designer. And to make sure that all this, to make sure that Dreamweaver's windows are opened up where you can really understand them, and get a good sense of, of what's happening. I usually go to window, and you can open up a saved uh, window area, which is really, really handy. Where is that at? That is. right there. And the last thing that we're going to do is uh, talk about the CSS designer area. So this is our main CSS page, which controls everything that we've been doing up to this point. The boilerplate uh, it just comes with this file because it controls all of that fun responsive stuff that we are working on. I'm going to click on main because that's the stuff we've been doing. I'm going to go down here and and all these, all these different areas that we've been working on have, uh, have names. So this first one is just, of course, called header. And here's the header. You can just click on header. And then under properties is where, really where we get all the control uh, to control and manage how all these different boxes work and function. We're going to add colors to them so we can see them better. But the first thing you may have to do if you haven't used Dreamweaver much is click on show set. And that opens up all these settings. So clicked on header, scrolling down. I'm going to look for the spot that says background. We're going to insert a background color, a nice bold color so we can see it. And there it is. And then I'm moving down to my, my buttons, which we're called nav call. We're on nav call. And let's put in a color for that. And this just allows me to see what's, what's happening, see what's really going on. I actually put the color in the Wrong spot there. Color needs to go here. A little too hard to read, so let's put on a lighter blue. Perfect. Moving down to the body area. And last but not least, our footer. There's one color we haven't added, and that's that navigation area for behind the buttons. <coughs> so I'm looking down here at my type, and that is called fluid nav box. Fluid nav box. 
So I can just highlight this fluid nav box area. Starts there under nav, closes under nav. I can go to color and we can make that a distinctly different tone as you see back there. When I first started this process, I typed in some type in the main in the main container area that I'm going to get rid of. It doesn't really belong. And if I wanted this to move up a little bit, I have to do that in the code because it's just hard to hard to get around in Dreamweaver sometimes. This first box, of course, is called header, so I can look down here for where it says header. And then we have a space right there that's pushing this down. This is just a space. It literally means space bar. Hitting delete and Lo and behold, we now have our grid ready to go. Thank you very much for uh, listening in to this tutorial. I hope it helped.